Hey guys, we would like to quickly explain how works the auxiliary tank from Rade Garage. We did a recent upgrade, so this is actually the second version. The first benefit is actually that we were able to hide the tank under the seat. It means the solution doesn't add any extra dimension to the bike and keeps the original handling while having here five and a half liters of gas. Build gives you about 100 kilometers full range or 60, 60 miles full range on top. Uh, we were able to do it because we remove the OEM airbox and it was replaced with this so-called small airbox using the OEM flange and foam filter from Twin Air. Nice side effect was uh, the test on Dinojet where we realized that this solution has between two and a half and six and a half torques five to eight percent uh, better performance so we are happy for this bonus uh, third point is uh, regarding refueling you don't have to remove the seat while refueling the, the auxiliary tank but uh, you have to refuel in both tanks when you want to take uh, full tanks there is only tiny uh, fuel line in between, so theoretically it's possible, but practically it would take ages. So you always have to refuel in, in two tanks. And the advice is make sure the petcock is always open, so you don't squeeze there any air bubble in between the tanks. Um, and the uh, last point, uh, you have two options how to use the tank. The first option is you use it as a reserve, it means you close the petcock in between, when you dry in the main tank, you open it and you run the, the front tank. Uh, or the second option, which is good for ready riding, when you need quickly to get the balance uh, point as, as low as possible, you leave the petcock open and then use both tanks at the same time. That's all, cool, guys. If more details, you can read on our website.